everyone, I'm Jeff Teague. This is Auto Jeff Reviews. Today I'm going to show you how to use the center locking differential on your vehicle. And for today's experiment, we're going to be using the all new 2022 Lexus LX 600 F Sport. People can use a locking differential for many different uses. For example, a locking rear differential is going to lock both of the wheels, the left and the right, on the same axle. So they're both doing the same amount of work to get you through an obstacle. Now in a bigger vehicle like this, or maybe Toyota Land Cruiser, you might need a center locking differential. And what that does is it allows both the front end and the back end to do the same amount of work. So it's going to send 50% power here and 50% power here. Oh yeah, split the power. I've got the power. So let's say we're out here in the wilderness and all of a sudden you encounter an obstacle like slippery mud or uneven territory, things like that, like a rut, a divot, a hole, anything that could prevent your wheels from powering through that obstacle or that rough terrain. Well, what are you gonna do? Your vehicle's gonna go for the least amount of resistance. So if the front wheels are spinning, it's probably gonna try harder and harder. Well, if you have center locking differential, things change. Now all of a sudden with power distributed evenly, both sets of back wheels and front wheels are gonna turn the same revolutions, do the same amount of work, and then you can power through your obstacle. Demo time. To activate center locking differential, your vehicle is gonna to need to be in a couple different settings. Number one, you're gonna be needing to be in low four-wheel drive. So this one right here, the LX600, is full-time four-wheel drive, similar to what a Land Cruiser is. So you've got high four and low four we got to be in low four. And by the way, after this demo here, and it's not climbing a mountain or anything like that, just a little tiny small hill. I just want you to get an idea of how to do it when you need it on a bigger obstacle. Besides, that's all I had to work with. So anyway, after that, I'm going to just walk around the LX600 so you can see the interior, get a little sneak peek here, but we'll also see the exterior styling too so you know if that's a vehicle you would want. Okay, so here is LX600 dash. What we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna want this to be in low four. So what we're gonna to have to do is we're gonna put it into neutral and then we're gonna turn it over to low. You can see right there, we got that. That also turns off your VSC, pre-collision system. Now what we're gonna do is come over here, see that? center locking differential. And what that means basically is, look, it locks it in the center, so again, power's distributed between the front and the rear. So here we go. That's the button right there. It matches on the dash. So what do we do now? Well, number one, we can start moving as soon as we put it into drive. This is a low speed system. You do not want to do this at higher speeds and you won't be allowed to, it'll disengage. So anyway, we've got it locked in the center. We'd probably want to put it into drive. And then this isn't the obstacle, but again, we're at low speed right now. Both of the front and the rear axles are moving at the same speed doing the same amount of work. So we're gonna go real slowly up this small, small hill just to show you how it works. It's low speeds. But if one of the wheels was slipping right now, everything would be pitching in to get you up and over. And now a demo of it backing up. Why am I doing this? Well, I'm backing up anyway, so I might as well film it. Is LX600 king of the off-roading hill for you? You decide in the comment section, let me know. Okay, that was the demonstration. Showed you how to activate it, how to engage that system, how it might work in a really small obstacle, but how it might work in a bigger, more challenging type of terrain. That's for you to do. Let me know where you're gonna take your vehicle next. Now let's walk around this one here. You'll see the outside styling, you'll see the inside styling, and then we'll wrap it up at the end. Some words of wisdom. Like Prince would say, oh no, let's go 
Let's go crazy. Let's get nuts. The LX600, Lexus's luxury off-roading vehicle, luxury utility vehicle, luxury sport utility vehicle, however you want to say it, this may replace Land Cruiser because there's no North American Land Cruiser right now. So we've got this one. Some would say you could also use Toyota Sequoia to hold that moniker. This one right here, 8,000 pound tow capacity. Beautiful styling. Really like that. Even got some red dirt on there. The LX600 F Sport retails for just a little bit over $100,000. 100K magic in the air, air, air. Bruno Mars would hate that version of my song. Anyway, look, we've got room for, well, hand sanitizer. This is circuit red interior. So we've got circuit red with black and it's a really good use of red accents. It's not dominating anything and it's not an obnoxiously bright, bright red. It's a deep, it's a sporty red shade. I like that. That has three settings for memory seats, heated and cooled front seats. We're gonna see heated and cooled rear seats as well. This fits three people very comfortably across. Good leg room. I've got the seats back for different settings so you can see what it's like. And then this one does not have a panoramic roof and I figured for a hundred thousand it would. It doesn't. Look at this here. We have a huge display, 12.3 inch Lexus interface display along with a smaller display. So we can get all sorts of information really from what we see right there. Let's look in the back. And actually let's show you how this can tumble. Okay, so this tumbles like that and that could open up and expose the third row seats. We'll do that right now. Oh! Okay, so this will be an example of what you can do for storage. I'm gonna have a separate video on cargo capacity, what you can fit in here, but you can set up your vehicle this way where you've got more space, you've got less space here, obviously, it's very small, but you've got less space, but you do have passenger seat. So now you can kind of mix it up how you want to, both seats down, both seats up, however you want it, my friends. And I'll just show you a few buttons and controls and dials and how things are laid out because I have other videos that are gonna do a complete walk around. They're gonna do, hey, Mark Levinson, 25 speaker sound system, 2400 watt amp. What? F Sport pedals, power. Steering wheel, then we've got the 360 bird's eye view. You can do different settings there. However you want to, you can do forward, backward. And then this piece of information we've got right here, the wireless charging pad right there, my friends. And then we've got storage right there. Don't look at my money. Dollar dollar bill y'all. And then this is, I've been demoing right now, so my gas mileage is a little bit less than what's actually posted. But when you're sitting here burning fuel, reviewing vehicles, it goes down. All right, so we've got multi-terrain select. We've got downhill assist. And then of course we've got crawl control, center locking diff, crawl right there. All right, so what do you guys think of this so far? Thanks everybody so much for watching. Let me know what you think of the center locking differential feature. And then what do you think about LX600? Where would you use center locking differential? Do you use locking rear differential on your vehicle right now? Would you even use a center locking diff? That's a good question for the comment section. Anyway, please follow me at both of my channels, Toyota Jeff Reviews and Auto Jeff Reviews YouTube channel. And then you'll see smaller videos on Instagram and TikTok at Auto Jeff Reviews and Toyota Jeff Reviews. 
Thanks everybody so much. You're the best. Peace out. <laughs>